these are machete monkeys. They find within Sumatra and Java are sometimes trained to camber up palm trees and gather coconuts for their masters. These Balinese ones, however, seem to regard things the other way around. It's us who have to provide food for them. When they are grooming one another, they are not simply looking for fleas, but are searching one another's skin for tasty little grains of salt. Although these monkeys look charming and sweet, scampering over the temple gardens, they're really quite a savage lot, ruled over very harshly by one old male. There was no sharing of the grains of maize I offered them, and often they would fight and squabble over them. As a result, the older and bigger ones got far more than their fair share. I tried hard to give these little babies some food, but always the adult snatched it from my hand. And once the baby did manage to grab a grain, its mother wrenched open its jaws, extracted the maize, and ate it herself. smell which was attracting him, he came out of the front. But now he caught a whiff of the smell of the suspended bait. on him being so big, and to our dismay we saw that he could reach this hanging bait. Fortunately, he couldn't get enough to satisfy him, and he retreated with some of the goat's intestines dangling from the corner of his mouth.
and down came the door. Hastily, we piled boulders on the door so that he couldn't lift it up. We had got him. our troubles were over. We had filmed him and we had caught him. But we reckoned without one thing. Unfortunately, in the end, bureaucracy defeated us and we weren't given a permit to export those dragons from Indonesia. So I'm afraid they're still there. That was the end of our zoo quest. our troubles were over. We had filmed him and we had caught him. But we reckoned without one thing. Unfortunately, in the end, bureaucracy defeated us and we weren't given a permit to export those dragons from Indonesia. So I'm afraid they're still there. That was the end of our zoo quest.